In this video, I will explain about the Contra accounts. Contra means opposites. It means any account which is have a opposite balance to its normal balance, it become a Contra account of uh, the classification of those accounts. For example, let's say asset Acid narrow balance is debit, but the contra account asset balance is credit. Here I write CSEA mean contra account. Let's say liability. Liability is narrow balance is credit, but in case of contra liability. The balance is debit. Similarly, we apply same concept on equity. Equity narrow balance is credit. In contra equity account is balance is debit. Here we understand that any type of account, the opposite balance of the account is called a contra account. The asset opposite balance is credit and liability opposite balance is debit and equity opposite balance is debit. Let me explain this concept with the help of an examples. Let's say we have a account receivable balance is 100. The allowance for doubtful account is, is 10 the account receivable is a debit balance the allowance for doubtful account is a credit balance the net effect of these two account is net account receivable is 100 minus 10 is equal to 90. now how we represent the contra account on balance sheet if i in balance sheet first we write the actual account and here is right 100 then we will subtract the contra account balance i allowance in this case is allowance for doubtful account is a contra account I write just abbreviations and we will subtract these amounts 100 minus 10 in 90. 90 is our net account receivable balance. Same concept we will apply on uh, fixed assets. In fixed asset, uh, control account are used uh, uh, account receivable. Uh, no, sorry cumulative depreciation let's say we have a building building balance is 1000 just for uh, easy to understand mostly building are not as cheap just i assume to easily explain this concept the accumulated depreciation of the building is i say 100 the Building balance is debit, the accumulated depreciation account, the balance is credit. The net effect of these two accounts is net building is 1000 less 100 equal to 900. We represent the building in our balance sheet because balance sheet represent the asset and liabilities and equity sanctions we write the building then subtract the accumulated depreciations of the building here in the case of 100 the 900 we will represent on a balance sheet let me give you one example about the income statement contra account 
account so let's say we have a sales sales normal balance is a credit this is a debit side it is a credit side i say a sale is uh, 900 sale discount is uh, we have a 50 here is a credit balance here is a debit balance the sale discount is actually a contra account of the sales the net effect of these two account is net sale is 900 less 50 is equal to 850 in income statement we represent the control account in such a way sale less sell discount 50 then we will subtract 900 less 50 850 is our net sale let me give an another example about the equity of the control accounts let's say we have a common stocks common stock on normal balance is i say it um, 700 the narrow balance of common stock is created we buy back few shares let's say we buy back the 100 shares the this account we say a treasury account stocks it is our narrow balance is credit treasury stock narrow balance is a debit it is our control account of the uh, equity the net effect of these two account is 700 minus 100 equal to 600 that's why we, you will see the in equity section we always subtract the trade stocks because it is our, our contra account of the equity we subtract this uh, account balance and get our net equity in this way I explain the contra account concept. I hope you easily understand it. If you did not like this video yet, please like it, thumb up this video, and subscribe this channel and share with your friends. If you think uh, anything is missing and confusing, uh, uh, I did not explain this very well, then you must be mentioned in comment below. I will try to explain it if possible, or uh, I will create another video to explain this concept again thank you so much